It's going to be a tight pull this one. Remember, just the top two go through straight to semi-finals. So a hugely important game. First up for both of these sides. The Fijiana. Wonderful to watch. Ashley Murray Pretorius from South Africa is your referee for this one. Philip Atatia alongside former Wales Sevens captain. We saw Scotland playing at the Toulouse Sevens. Won a couple of games there. Really impressed, didn't they? We don't see them a lot at the elite level of Sevens, but they're a dangerous team here, no doubt about it. Oh, absolutely. And they really did improve on that tournament. Hey, they beat England. That was a huge scalp. And you've got 10 players from that team squad representing here in this tournament. So hopefully they can continue with that momentum. Meryl Smith gets this pool B match underway. The Fijiana will have possession early. Nangasau, the captain, flings it wide. That's dangerous, almost latching onto it was Rona Lloyd for Scotland. She has to get the defensive work going this time. Lloyd just holding onto the, the coattails there to prevent Fiji from an early runaway. Nicely on the cut is Baburu. And they get the early penalty to Fiji. Scotland not rolling away. Good bit of pressure early doors there from Scotland. They'll know that Fijiana actually give away the most amount of penalties, so they're really going to want to pile on that pressure, try and pin them back into their half. Backwards. Gonu. Nice offload in the tackle. That's their game, and the chip ahead as well, keeps it in field. Shona Campbell shatters it over the sideline alongside Chloe Rolly. They're not afraid to kick the ball either, are they? They love the kick and chase. With Fijiana, you expect the unexpected. Offloads from everywhere, attacks from anywhere, potential kicks from anywhere. That's what makes them so incredibly difficult to play against. They're not straight at the line out. Scrum. Emma Orr okay, took it down, so that's an unforced error. Nice one. From Scotland, prime attacking opportunity this for Fiji. Nine of their Olympic bronze medal winning team are here in Birmingham for this Commonwealth Games. They really have been fast tracked into the elite world of rugby sevens this team. And watch out for their number six, Ruki Alunasau, who we saw in the kick and chase. There she is with the ball in hand. Looking for the wraparound, and here she has it once again, straight off the set piece. They're going to check it. But that was slick stuff off the set piece from the Fijiana. It certainly was. And with any other team, you would call that a training ground move. But with Fijiana, that was purely reactional. Does she keep it in? Wait. Wait. Tango. Yes, she's good. Yeah, actually. Yes. When you were on screen, you might have more to try. Repeat. The Luna Sound. Gets her Commonwealth Games try scoring tally started. We will no doubt see a few more of those this three days. We certainly will. And that was a double wrap around there. Very difficult to defend against. The only thing Scotland could have maybe done a little bit better is continue the pressure moving forward. Those passes were happening behind the back of players. So Scotland needs to eat away at that ground to try and get close enough to make that tackle. But that was all done at lightning speed. So incredibly difficult to defend. Extra two as well so they lead it 7-0 Bavaru can't quite go the 10 with her restart so yeah it's just as we saw in the previous match Scotland are going to elect for the scrum right on halfway here they would have prepared for this moment set piece move coming I dare say they're going to look to get the ball into the hands of Rona Lloyd number seven as quickly as possible top try Scorer for them. Fine. Real attacking threat. Most of these players double up in the 15 a side game. They'll be going to their first 15 a side World Cup in New Zealand for the first time in 12 years. Later this year. 
Here's the Thompson. Nice improvised offload over the top to Kanda. And in support now is Merrill Smith. There's another offload. Good stuff from Scott Thompson at scrum half. Emma Orr. Rolly. Chloe Rolly. Nice little in and away and a high tackle coming over the top. You heard the noise from the crowd. Advantage Scotland for that high tackle. Just the penalty. Rolly. Thompson. She does take some stopping just outside the 22, but the ball's gone forward there. Yes, a little knock on. Good defence from Fiji, but bright signs from Scotland with the ball in hand. Yeah, really bright signs. I mean, going back to that Chloe Rowley just before she got tackled, it was a poor pass to her, but she used her footwork to get on the outside edge, trying to make it up. And then when Lisa Thompson went on that crash ball, the outside players from Scotland just needed to react a little bit quicker and get over her to protect that ball. Scott Forrest took the TB, TGB women to Tokyo last year, also played for Scotland Sevens at the Delhi Commonwealth Games in 2010, but a chance here for Scotland. Sinclair chipping ahead. Fiji have done really well to get back here, but no, Scotland do get the decision, and Thompson wants it quickly. She taps, but she's got to take it on the spot. Just gives Fiji a chance to take a breather. They've got numbers on the far side. All they need to do is shift it, and they will. And Shona Campbell scores for Scotland. The conversion will be the levelling score. Well, I mentioned it earlier. If you can apply pressure to this Fijiana team, especially in their 22, you will get penalties. And they've got it there. I'm not quite sure why Fijiana didn't react a bit quicker when Thompson went to take it. First of all, there was a massive overlap. They didn't recognise it. Thompson actually had the time to go back, go to the mark, take the tap and still expose that edge. Thompson can't have the extra two, so it remains two points to difference. Just over a minute to go in this first half. We thought this one might be tight. It is proving so. A good riposte from Scotland. They've had a four-week training block after that Toulouse tournament back in May. Been hugely beneficial for them. Here's Donu. Fiji just changing direction all the time. So difficult to defend. That ball's gone loose. Again fumbled. Here's Donu again. Can't get on the outside of Emma Orr. Nangasau. Good tackle. The try scorer Campbell. Scotland just trying to squeeze Fiji here and prevent their offloading game, but they're on the breakaway, the Fijiana. Rolly, the Lloyd on the chase, they're not going to get there. Fiji have their second. Funny Buleki with the try for Fiji. Initially, really good pressure defensively from Scotland. The yeah, players shooting up when they realised that Fijiana had the outside player on the edge, so they shut it down. But just there, Chloe Rowley does so good to get up in her face, but she's got to make that tackle. And then a gutsy chase back here by Rona Lloyd. Just couldn't quite get to her. Well worked there by Fijiana, well deserved. <laughs> So Fiji with their second try of the half. 14-5, they lead Scotland at halftime. the Scotland huddle head coach Scott Forrest doing all the talking a few words from Chloe Rowley there in the sixth shirt as well he 
you can see what they were trying to do towards the end of that first half, Philip. They squeezed the Fijian defence, but you've got to make your one-on-one -on -one tackles. That's it, exactly right. And, you know, credit to them. They read the shape really well. They knew when individuals could shoot up and force Fijiana to go back on the side. So limiting that offloading game. But like you say, it's just that commitment on that one-on-one -on -one tackle. But trust me, I've played against Fijiana. They are one of the strongest ball carriers to play against. So even when you go low, sometimes they can still bosh past you. What a job Saisi Fuli has done with this Fijiana side. They've become one of the most dangerous teams on the circuit. Thank you. They have the lead here. 14-5 over Scotland. Seven minutes to go in their pool B opener. A little early we saw Australia get their opening win against South Africa also in this group. Fiji goes straight down the middle on the restart. Donu, tall figure, wins it, but Scotland have smuggled it back. And they'll try and work it out. Try the counter ruck, Fiji. Rolly. And the Lloyd who just couldn't reel in Buleki in that try before half time. Thompson, the captain, under pressure here. And the ball's gone forward, advantage Fiji, and the dummy, and the score. They forced the error with the strong defence, and Thaburu with the dummy in try. There was a scavenger-style defence there, fighting for everything. On the floor, they're causing trouble. Working around the edges, they're causing trouble. Great way to score in the opening of the second half there. Oh, what an audacious dummy. <laughs> and a dive to finish. Why not? Celebrate that dummy. I think sit down is the... Impre <laughs> is, is the, uh, the technical term. The technical term for that. That's their third try. Bit of daylight now. Conversion makes it as well. Thirty to go here. Not impossible for Scotland by any means. They'll get the ball back here as that restart doesn't make it. And they need to use this possession wisely. Rolly. Heavy contact on her. She's come off the knee. Play on, says the referee. Arriving is Helen Nelson. She's shut back in her own direction as well. Thompson alert to it. Here's Meryl Smith. Emma Orr does really well to take a difficult ball with her left hand over her head. Thompson sees some space down the blind side here. Getting to her feet quickly to make the tackle was Donna. Donna gets through a huge amount of work for Fiji. Somehow Scotland have got that back. Need to be a bit careful here. There's that line speed again from Fiji. Campbell offloads to Nelson. Campbell, try score in the first half. Cross to Smith. Thompson and again just runs it into contact looking to commit Fijian defenders maintaining possession well here and here's Rona Lloyd real try scoring threat for Scotland gets the offload away back to a captain Nelson here's Campbell again Emma Orr Slight dog leg in the Fijian defensive line. Can Scotland take advantage of it? Here's Rona Lloyd. She sees the space. She's through the gap. Roy Lloyd. Lloyd for the line. And she'll get there. Plenty of Scottish support here in Birmingham. And they enjoyed that one. Scotland back in it. Wow, that was energy sapping stuff from both sides. You could just see an attack there. Scotland went just about on the edge of running out of ideas. They tried to get the ball into Rona Land's hands on the edge there. But luckily they kept it alive, offloading in contact. Then great work rate right here from Lloyd. Getting herself into the game, slotting in a scrum half there, picking up that ball and attacking around the edges. She could see they were tired bodies. And it was a perfect time for her to come in and expose it. Yeah, track star in her youth. Highly ranked sprinter in Scotland. And a highly rated player in all four forms of the game for Scotland. 
has given them a lifeline here. 21-12, three minutes to go. Fiji with possession. Chop tackle from Rolly. Fiji still have it. Nice offload. Little hitch kick. Important tackle needs to be made by Campbell. It isn't. And Naimasi is away, but how's that for the cover defence from Musgrove? Fiji still have it, though. Basketball pass over the top. Chance of an overlap here for Zaveua. She's wrapped up by Thompson. Fiji looking to put this one to bed. Offload out the back from Naimasi. Here's Donu again. Inside ball. Back to Donu, and she's in the corner. Loading ability of the Fijiana has extended their lead once again. Oh, credit there to Fijiana. They really had to work for that one. Initially, it was a good defence from Scotland. Lisa Thompson managing to get up and just wrapping the ball and the player. Bought the rest of the team time to get set. But that's the problem. That's the difficulty when you're playing against Fijiana because they're so strong. You want to go low to make sure you get them down, but then that leaves their hands free and they can offload that ball. But the work rate there, they had to show to keep those options available for the offloads. Really good for the Fijiana there. Another player discovered in 2021 before the Tokyo Olympics. Wait, wait. She has been excellent in this Pool B opener, 26-12. Thank you. Mountain to climb now with just over 1.30 on the clock for Scotland. Every time Scotland have, have scored, Fijiana have hit straight back, and that shows you the kind of quality 17 they are at the moment. They keep their heads. And this is a nice breakaway, though. Rachel McLaughlin into Fijian territory, penalty to the women in blue. They go quickly. Nelson has support here from Raleigh. He's ducks under the tackle. That's Fiji, though, this time. They get the jackal. A steal for the Fijiana, and they want more. 26-12, they want to add to their total inside the final minute. Scotland now looking for the decision. Emma Orr thought she had rights there, but no. Penalty to Fiji. Lavania Tina is out there in the 13 shirt. Great to see her back playing for Fiji Sevens, 31 years of age. Here's Donu. Just buys a bit of time. Nice inside ball to Tina and out the back again. And the cut inside. Viniana Riwai will finish it off for the Fijiana. Yeah, Riwai there coming off the bench and giving that impact that you want. Again, it's just getting those offloads. You can see there, you know, Scottish players full of heart, full of guts, trying to make every tackle. But just leaving hands free for offloads. A oh, well-timed step back inside there as well. Captain football, well, soccer if you like, for Fiji as well as Rugby Sevens. And it is the Fijiana who start their Commonwealth Games with a win. Impressive performance from them. 31-12 Fiji over Scotland. Yeah. This program is brought to you 